While Dallas County restricts gatherings to 50 people or less, they have closed bars, they have limited restaurant to no dining room activity. Uh, the city of Fort Worth at the same time is announcing changes as well. Businesses we know in Tarrant County now with an announcement a short time ago can stay open, but they have to limit their occupancy to 50% what they would normally be able to hold or 125 people, whichever is smaller, they tell us. Those limits, again, in Tarrant County are going to go in, into effect at midnight tonight. Mayor Betsy Price, in fact, is holding a press conference right now. They're streaming on Facebook Live. There is the mayor, and it looks like they're exchanging officials on the right side. Let's listen in for a moment, see what they have to say. To enforce aggressively the fire code here in the city limits uh, regarding occupancy limits. And we're asking businesses to be diligent in their enforcement and be mindful of the public health implications. We realize that these discussions are painful for business owners and business operations, but we realize this solution will allow small businesses to remain open in light of the rapidly changing situation. However, it is important to note that if the bars and restaurants do not comply, further action may be required in order to meet the demands of the public health requirements. Thank you. This does not apply to grocery stores. We want you to stay home and have the food that you need. Chief, thank you. Brandon Bennett, our public health director here at the city, our public health authority. Right. <clears throat> thank you, Mayor. Um, you know, it, this is a, a once in a hopefully lifetime event that we, we never see this again. And I think it's important that people really kind of wrap their arms around it and put it in perspective because we, we are at a, a juncture where we have the possibility to reduce the number of our fellow residents that die from this virus, the number of residents that become permanently dis disabled from this, and then, of course, the number of residents that um, suffer the virus and, and, and the consequences on a, on a short term. That we need to understand that, that this virus does not discriminate. It doesn't say, hey, you're a Fort Worth resident, therefore I'm not going to infect you. That it affects the, the young, the middle-aged, the very old, and to the, to the old and to those with um, compromised immune systems, uh, it is an extremely high risk and we're seeing an increasing fatality rate. That we are doing these measures to protect our residents from both illness and from loss of life. Uh, these are not draconian, like you said earlier, that these are very um, reasonable things that we see happening across the nation because we know if we can reduce possible exposure, then we also reduce the spread of the, the virus among the most risky populations. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Folks, we know this is hard for everybody. It's hard on us and hard on our families. These weren't made lightly, nor will any new decisions be made lightly. But this is a chance where we'll all come together and pull that load together and we'll get past it sooner rather than later. It's tough on businesses, it's tough for white staff, hospital staff, anyone in the service industry may be laid off. We'll continue to work with you, Workforce Solutions will work with you. But this is a great opportunity for you to stay home, to play board games with your children, to read, to binge watch if that's what you're want to do. Get to know each other. Remember Facebook is out there. Remember FaceTime is there. If you've got a loved one in a care facility, you can FaceTime them. Or if your grandchildren are across town and you can't see them, FaceTime with them. Enjoy it. 